After taking a close look at the printed template, it became pretty clear that the board was narrower than I had expected, and the reason for that was that I adjusted the running length of the board after I adjusted the width. And typically when you're designing a board, um, you should adjust the running length prior to the width because changes to the running length will affect the width. So now I'm going to go ahead and correct that, uh, keeping my same running length, but I'm going to widen the board up a bit so that it uh, is closer to that 26.6 centimeters that I was after originally at the center of each insert pack. So I'm just going to do a quick measurement using the ruler tool to see where I'm at now and how much I need to change. So right now it looks like I'm at 26.4 so I'm going to increase the nose and tail to try and get to the 26.6 that I was originally after. Uh, luckily no harm done since you can print out a board crafter design it's pretty easy to check your work uh, before you spend you know too much money on something more advanced like a a laser cut template you'll definitely want to look at a printout so now I'm at 26.5 so I'll keep increasing this until I get to the 26.6 that I'm after I'm really close now so this probably has done it and based on what we see here it looks like I am now at 26.6 so that's for the tail end of the snowboard. I'll just make sure that the nose end also is wide enough. So what I'm doing when I come away from the center there is aligning myself since I don't have a grid in the background. But when you're designing, you should have grid enabled and it's really easy for you to see where you're at. So it looks like I'm at 26.5 up here, so I'll increase the nose so that it's equal to the tail and I will align myself again and take another look and here I should now be at 26.6 and I am so this shape is now where I wanted it to be uh, after the original printing so I'll go ahead and print this out again and just triple check my work so I'm selecting one to one scale and all the print options I want so I don't want the guidelines because I'm printing on a roll fed printer but I do want the plan, I do want the inserts, and I do want the core. So I'll remove tip spacers, and I will remove flex, and I will remove profile, and I will also remove dimensions. Now I need to go to the file menu and into print setup to make sure the appropriate printer is selected. So I'll change this to my Epson, and I'll change the paper format, make it landscape, and now I'll select print and I'll have my printouts.